Okay, so we are on day two of NTI, and you guys should be on seven decades on, and Frank's word still comfort. Guys, okay, so one reason that I chose this was because I heard a lot of you guys mention that you liked the boy in the striped pajamas. And if you didn't read the book, you had watched the movie. And one reason I chose this was because Anne Frank, she was one of the most famous victims of the Holocaust. And here are some pictures of her. This is one of the main ones that's used. I actually think that is on a cover of a book that I have in my room, which is also mentioned in the story. I'll show you here in a second. But um, Anne Frank, she, she was a German-born Jewish girl, and she hid with her family in an attic in Amsterdam during the Holocaust. And one of the most, one of the reasons that she is most famous during the Holocaust was because of her diary. And that was published after World War II. So today, her diary is one of the most well-read works of literature. So, like I said, I have that in my room. Like, if we get back to school and you're interested in reading it, I will make sure that you get it, okay? I have about 15 copies, so more than one of you can read it at a time. So let's go ahead and start. So seven decades on, and Frank's words still comfort by Simon, well Scott Simon. So we'll start with paragraph one. A 15-year-old girl named Anne Frank died 70 years ago this week. The exact day is unknown. She died in the Bergen Belson concentration camp not long after her sister Margot, who was 19. So if you have read the boy in the striped pajamas, you know what a concentration camp is. So a concentration camp is a place where people were enslaved as a part of the war effort. And they were often starved and tortured and killed just because of who they were. Like in this case, it was the Jews. And if you don't know what a concentration camp is, I'll show you some pictures here. And most of the time, as you can see here, they were pretty crowded. Like right here. Let's see if I can find it. Right here. Look, you have these kids here. And look at that wire there. It's like they're they're in a jail, basically. So it wasn't really a place of time during the Holocaust. Okay, so let's go back here. We'll start here. So Anne Frank's Wikipedia entry refers to her as a diarist and a writer. She sure was. The entry she wrote in the red plaid diary she got from her father on her 13th birthday were published as Anne Frank's The Diary of a Young Girl in 1947, which this is the book that I have in my room. It has become one of the most famous books in history translated into more than 60 languages. But let us remember this week that Anne Frank was a 15-year-old girl who was among the millions who died in the Holocaust. Anne's diary tells the story of her family and family friends who hide for two years in an attic above her father's old shop in Amsterdam because they were Jews in a time when Nazism rode over Europe. As they had to live in darkness and quiet, so they wouldn't give their hiding place away. They got by, often barely, on smuggled cans of food, and each day Anne lay below the attic skylight to stare up at the bare limbs of a chestnut tree. So think about it. They were in an attic above her dad's store, and they lived in darkness, and they lived in quiet. And it sounds like they barely had food because they were smuggling, smuggling in cans of food. You gotta think about it, like today, you guys would go absolutely insane if you in a, were in a room that was dark and quiet, unless you were sleeping. But, and Frank, she went through this for a long time. And right here, I mean, she, it sounds like she didn't really have anything to do. She stared at the skylight at a chestnut tree. So think about that. Think about if you were in her shoes, how would you feel? Okay, so let's go on. On whose branches little raindrops shine, she wrote, appearing like silver at the seagulls as they glide on the wind. While this lasts, I cannot be unhappy. 
It is a true story, both unbearably sad and inspiring. Over the decades, Anne Frank's words have offered comfort and bravery whenever children have to grow up amid violence, war, bigotry, and fear. Just a few weeks before Anne Frank and much of her family were dragged off to the camps and died, she wrote, of all things, about her faith in people. Her words are read by Saya Panahi, a 17-year-old Hazara Wait, sorry, I lost my spot. Hazara Afghan, refugee now living with her family in an immigrant camp in Austria in Sydney Falls, a 15-year-old girl on the south side of Chicago. It's really, a, it's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all my ideals because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out. Yet, I keep them because in spite of everything, I still believe that people are good at heart. I simply can't build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the wor world gradually, gradually being turned into a wilderness, and I hear every approaching thunder, which will destroy us too. I can feel the suffering of millions, and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think it will all come right, and that this cruelty too will end, and that peace and tranquility will return again. So here, she sounds pretty hopeful because here she says I think it will all come right so right here she's basically saying well I think it will be all right and that the cruelty will to end and that there will be peace so she's pretty she's a person that she's very hopeful and she thinks that everything is going to be okay at that time okay so in the meantime I must uphold my ideals, for perhaps the time will come when I shall be able to carry them out. Yours, Anne. Okay, so let's go to our assessment questions. Okay, so we have another question that's asking how a paragraph contributes to the ideas in the text. So let's see if this one will actually highlight it for us this time. Yes, it will. Okay. So it says part A. So this is, remember, you have to pay attention to those part A, part B questions. So we have part A. How does the excerpt from Anne Frank's diary entry in paragraph 6 contribute to the ideas in the text? So here, this highlighted version here, we're trying to see why it's important to the text and how it contributes to the text. So I'm going to read it here, and then we're going to read the multiple choice for A, B, C, and D. It says, on whose branches little raindrops shine, she wrote, appearing like silver, and at the seagulls as they glide on the wind, while this lasts, I cannot be unhappy. So you have, it emphasizes the positivity that Frank maintained despite her family's desperate circumstances. B, it informs readers of the limited views of the outside world and that the Frank family had during their hiding. So does that inform the readers? Or does that show positivity? You gotta think about that. You have C, it describes the conditions of Amsterdam. Does this describe conditions of Amsterdam? You have D, it provides readers with an example of the advanced vocabulary Frank was, an, was able to use during her hiding. So you gotta think about that too. So you gotta pick which one best goes with this. Okay, number two, part B. So whatever you choose for part A, you got to find a quote that helps you support that, okay? So is which quote from the article best supports your answer? So you're going to choose which one of these support your answer to part A. Okay, number three. So let's go ahead and click paragraph 10. So it says, what does the word ideals most likely mean as it is used in paragraph 10? So again, this is where we use context clues. So you're going to find ideals and you're going to look for words around it. So let's see where we can find it. Right here is ideals. So let's highlight it here. Let's do yellow. So we have ideals here. So we need to look at everything around it to try to define ideals. 
Okay, so it says, it's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my ideals. So, you can, another thing that you can do is replace any of these words here and see which one of those makes sense. So, you can say, it's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my dreams because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out. Okay, so we have plans. It says, it's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my plans because they seem to be absurd and impossible to carry out. Okay, then we have difficulties. It's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my difficulties. Okay, we obviously know that this one does not make sense, so we automatically cut C out because she wants to drop her difficulties. So that would not absolutely not make sense here, okay? And then we have... It's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my desires because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out. Okay, so whichever one you think best fits here and makes sense through this whole paragraph, okay? So this is another part A, part B question. So whatever you have in number three, part A, you will need to remember because you need to be able to to find a support that helps you answer that. So again, it's highlighted. And you'll have to find that evidence, okay? So what is the connection between Anne Frank and Asaya Penalty and Sydney in paragraph 9? Okay, so it'll highlight paragraph 9 for you. Okay, you also, it says to cite evidence from the text in your answer, which obviously means that you need to use race. I know that I have to say that every single time we do a short answer, but I'll say it again so that you'll know. So right here, you'll have to read this and try to find that connection between Anne, Frank, and Osea, and Sydney. So... You have here, her words are read by Sia Panahi, a 17-year-old Hazara Afghan refugee now, living with her family in an immigrant camp in Austria, in Sydney Falls, a 15-year-old girl on the south side of Chicago. Okay, so how do you think there is a connection there? Okay. Do you think that they kind of connect to her, what, what happened to her in her diary, what she wrote about, if they are comforted by her words, anything like that. So you gotta tell about the connection between them, okay? If you have any problems whatsoever, message me on Google Classroom, you can email me, you can message me on Remind if you have that. Anyways, if you have any questions, ask them, and good luck.